Hello and welcome back to the Bright School of English here in Bournemouth. Today we're going to be talking about will, be going to and present continuous and how we use them to talk about the future. Let's start by looking at arrangements, plans and intentions. So here we have the happy couple and here we're using present continuous. We are getting married and we're using present continuous because they've made an arrangement. This is concrete. The date has been set. So this is really going to happen. Now here we're using be going to. I am going to marry Brad. This is her plan, this is her intention. But there's been no arrangement made. There's been no arrangement made with Brad. So this is still in her head, it's in her mind, and let's face it, it's probably never going to happen. So, to talk about future arrangements, use present continuous. To talk about intentions, things you're going to do, use be going to. look at predictions and there are two possibilities with predictions we can use be going to and we can use will So two types of prediction, one is more general, personal opinion, and for this we tend to use will. Now with be going to, we have strong evidence to support the prediction. So for more general, personal opinion, will. With strong evidence, be going to. to promises, instant decisions, offers and requests, they all use will. <music> promises, I'll pay you back tomorrow. I'll always love you. Instant decisions, this is when you make a decision in the moment. You didn't plan this, you didn't arrange anything beforehand, so for example, when you're choosing from a menu in a restaurant, um, I'll have the fish please. Will. Instant decisions. Offers, requests, I'll carry your bags for you. Will. Will you help me? Will. And finally, offers and suggestions 
with I or we when it's a question. Now for this we use shall. Now we only use shall with I or we, nothing else. An offer, shall I make some coffee? Or suggestions, should we go to the cinema tonight? I hope that's been helpful. One thing to remember, we do not use will for arrangements, plans and intentions. I hope that was useful. If you want to learn more about the school here in Bournemouth, please check out our website, brightenglishschool.com. See you next time.